First at 5.30 tonight, we begin with the latest on the investigation into the manhole explosions in Providence. It's a story we've been tracking since yesterday. Explosions sending several manhole covers high into the air. And today we went back to the scene to find out more about the city's response to yesterday's emergency. I would Sue's reporter Susan Campbell is live from the newsroom now with the latest developments. Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry tells me he's satisfied with the city's response and National Grid's response, but he says there are lessons to be learned from yesterday's incident. Eyewitness News was there Monday morning as underground explosions rocked the jewelry district, blowing eight manhole covers right into the air. We got out of the area pretty quickly. One day later, we went back to the corner of Elm and Richmond Streets. We found the roads reopened and manhole covers back in place. Now that the area has been cleared, we asked Providence Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry to evaluate the city's response to the incident. It was handled, uh, I thought, very efficiently and effectively, but there was an explosions. We shouldn't have uh, manhole covers exploding. That's why we also asked Commissioner Perry if the city is safe. The city's safe. The underground utility system is safe. <clears throat> These We're going to have fires on the ground. It's inevitable. It could happen, you know, next month or next year. We have underground utilities, and when you have, you know, high... Um, electrical and natural gas and telephone and, and utilities on the ground, there are going to be some, um, some situations on the ground that you'll never you know, you'll never prevent entirely. A spokesperson for National Grid tells Eyewitness News the underground fire and explosions were likely caused by an isolated faulty electrical cable. Emergency crews were first alerted to the danger because of high carbon monoxide levels in the area. Two people suffered minor injuries in the explosions. Live in the newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.